Jean Shrimpton has seen the film and uh, she really liked it. Thank goodness. <laughs> Because she's such an honest person as well, she can be sort of quite cutting. And uh, and she called and left a message just saying that she loved it and she asked how we got it so accurate. So that was just such a compliment, that was so nice. And um, and yeah, basically she doesn't like the fame side of things, she's quite a private person and we wanted to respect that. But she gave her consent to have the film made and then didn't really want anything more to do with it, whereas David Bailey was a little, little more sort of hands on with it. Um, so yeah, but just to have her sort of blessing after after she saw it, it was really nice. Actually, I was aware of David Bailey and his work and Jean Trimpton because um, I saw the pictures when I was about 18 or something, so that was quite a few years ago now. <laughs> um, so I was familiar with the pictures, but I didn't really know anything about Jean Trimpton as a person. All I knew is that she was a really big supermodel in the 60s. Um, but there's actually not very much footage of Jean Trimpton at all um, available online or anything like that because she was kind of quite enigmatic and there's not much of her talking and interacting with people. So I kind of went with what I had on that, but she wrote a guide to modeling right at the height of her modeling fame. So that was really interesting. And she's written an autobiography really late on in life. And so she's therefore really sort of honest in it. And uh, yeah, they're two kind of quite contrasting pieces of writing. Um, so that was really, really helpful because I kind of got her, how she presented herself at the time and how she really felt from the autobiography.